people. Uh, if you join me on one of my uh, Boris walks, our daily walks, today we're going to talk about generosity. At this time, there are lots of people, rightly, worrying about money. Uh, there's lots of concerns about jobs. Uh, there's lots of concerns about pensions and investments crashing. But despite all this, Jesus teaches us not to worry, and to love and give generously. In the book of John, in chapter 6, the famous story of Jesus feeding the 5,000 can be found. And when people start getting hungry, Jesus asks a sneaky question. He asks the question, where are we going to get the food to feed all these people? But as he says, he asked this to test the disciples because he knew what he was about to do. Philip has a bit of a meltdown at this point. He doesn't really know what to do. He says it's going to take ages to get together the money to buy food for all these people. But then Andrew steps up. He finds the boy with the five loaves and the two fishes. And it's not enough, but it's given generously to Jesus and his followers. his miracle thing, where he feeds the 5,000 people with the five loaves and the two fishes. And he's so generous that he even had some food left over. Now what he could have done is he could have sent the people on their way to go and get their own food. And he also could have just clicked his fingers and they'd all have food on their laps. But he doesn't. He involves his followers in the miracle generosity. What an honour it would have been for them to help Jesus in one of his miracles. Now back to us today. I don't know you have plenty of cash to give generously with. But we all have something that we can be generous with. It might be it might be cash, it might be time, giving someone a call, it might be some of your possessions, it might be the stack of toilet roll that you've got in your larder. Whatever it is, Jesus' challenge to us is to be involved in loving his people, giving generously is a miracle and it's something that you can do that's it from me today please do leave comments below or email us at highworthyouth at gmail.com see you soon